joining the television landscape in 1977. Eight is Enough wasn't just a family drama. It was a cultural touchstone. This series resonated with audiences, offering a relatable glimpse into the chaotic yet heartwarming lives of the Bradford family. Balancing humor and poignant moments, it navigated the trials and triumphs of a large family led by Tom Bradford, a widower managing eight diverse children. The show's portrayal of family dynamics, individual growth, and life's challenges struck a chord with viewers, earning it a cherished spot in TV history. Did Eight is Enough strike a chord with you? Perhaps it prompted a personal reflection on family or inspired you in unexpected ways. Or maybe one character stood out to you among the ensemble cast, leaving an indelible mark. Which role from the series holds a special place in your heart? We invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic TV series. Whether it's a lesson learned, a moment that made you laugh, or a character you deeply connected with, your stories and memories enrich the legacy of Eight is Enough. We look forward to hearing your reflections in the comments below. Eight is Enough emerged onto television screens in 1977 as a heartfelt family drama chronicling the lives of columnist Tom Bradford, a widower, and his eight children. Inspired by the memoirs of real-life journalist Tom Braddon, the series embodied the challenges and joys of parenting a large family. Its narrative revolved around the Bradford clan navigating the complexities of adolescence, relationships, and personal growth against the backdrop of the late 1970s. The show's charm lay in its ensemble cast, each character distinct and relatable in their own right. Tom served as the nurturing patriarch, striving to balance his career with raising his diverse brood. From the eldest, responsible David, to the youngest, spirited Nicholas, the siblings brought varied personalities, conflicts, and moments of unity to the forefront. Viewers found resonance in the family's trials and triumphs, fostering a genuine connection with the Bradfords. Eight is Enough left a lasting mark on popular culture, capturing the essence of familial bonds and the tumultuous yet rewarding dynamics of a large household. Its honest portrayal of family life resonated with audiences, paving the way for future family-centric shows. The series endured for five seasons, leaving an indelible impression on viewers even beyond its conclusion, showcasing the enduring power of relatable storytelling and the universal themes of family, love, and growth. Grant Goodev, portraying David Bradford, had a pivotal impact on the storyline of Eight is Enough. Feeling sidelined in the show's plot, could have suggested a major shift, his character's divorce from Janet. This proposal shook up the narrative, highlighting the actor's commitment to enhancing David's role in the family dynamic. Kudev's initiative ultimately altered the trajectory of the series, showcasing the influence and involvement of actors in shaping their characters' arcs. The portrayal of family struggles took a new turn, reflecting the realistic complexities of relationships within the Bradford household. The series' evolution mirrored the collaborative nature between actors and writers, demonstrating the show's adaptability to create authentic and relatable family dynamics. Grant Goodev, known for his role as David in the 1977 TV series Eight is Enough, had a significant impact behind the scenes. Despite playing the oldest Bradford child, he was younger than some of his on-screen siblings. However, Goodev's influence extended beyond acting. During the show, he sang the theme song in an episode, showcasing his versatility. Additionally, as the series progressed, the focus shifted among the Bradford siblings. Initially, each had equal screen time, but by the final season, Willie Arm's character became prominent, affecting the involvement of other regulars like Goodev. His frustration led to a pivotal change in the storyline, resulting in David's divorce from Janet, a move initiated by Goodev to regain a central role in the show. This dynamic highlights the interplay between actors, and storyline evolution and aid is enough, shaping the characters and narrative as the series unfolded. Tom Bradford, the patriarch from the 1977 TV series Eight is Enough, claimed a spot as number 33 in TV Guide's roster of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time. The show, drawing inspiration from Thomas Braddon's autobiographical account, initially named its lead character after him. However, opting for a more relatable, all-American vibe, they altered the surname to Bradford. Yet, the essence of Tom's character remained intact, resonating deeply with audiences. 
Nicholas, one of the Bradford children, played a consistent role in the series' structure. Each episode utilized Nicholas as the common thread leading into the main title sequence, providing a familiar entry point for viewers. Laurie Walters, who played Joni Bradford, is actually six months older than Betty Buckley, her on-screen stepmother in the series. This curious age dynamic between the two actresses adds an interesting layer to their on-screen relationship, challenging traditional perceptions of age and familial roles. Despite the chronological difference, their portrayal of stepmother and stepdaughter was convincing and seamless, a testament to their acting abilities and the dynamics within the Bradford family. This unusual fact behind the scenes offers a fascinating insight into the casting choices and the depth of performances within the show. Lanny O'Grady, the sister of Don Grady from My Three Sons, tragically passed away from a drug overdose in 2001. Don, known for playing Robbie Douglas, himself succumbed to cancer in 2012. Despite this personal tragedy, Eight is Enough remains a pivotal piece of television history. The show, a heartfelt family drama, grappled with the complexities of a widower, Tom Bradford, and his eight children. Spanning five seasons, it encapsulated the challenges and joys of parenting in the late 1970s. Its ensemble cast, distinct in their portrayals, resonated with audiences, fostering a genuine connection with the Bradfords. The series' enduring impact highlights its portrayal of familial bonds and the universal themes of family, love, and growth. Notably, Lanny's connection to another popular sitcom star sheds light on the interconnectedness within the TV landscape of the time. Aid is Enough stands as a testament to enduring family-centric storytelling and its impact on viewers even beyond its conclusion, showcasing the lasting power of relatable narratives in television. Mary's academic journey took her to the University of California at Berkeley for her medical training. This choice of education for a character within the family reflected the show's attempt to portray a range of aspirations and paths for its characters. Amidst the familial dynamics, individual pursuits like Mary's education added depth to the narrative, showcasing a character's personal development beyond the family sphere. It highlighted the balance between familial responsibilities and personal ambitions, resonating with viewers who navigated similar decisions in their lives. As we bid adieu to this nostalgic journey through the halls of the 1977 TV series, Eight is Enough, I encourage you to ponder the tapestry of moments woven into the fabric of your life by this show. Let its endearing family dynamics and heartfelt narratives resonate within your own experiences, perhaps sparking laughter, tears, or a comforting sense of familiarity. Take a moment to reminisce about the characters that felt like old friends, the episodes that left an indelible mark on your heart, and the lessons learned from their trials and triumphs. Share those cherished memories, whether it's the warmth of family gatherings mirroring your own or the wisdom imparted by the Bradfords echoing through the years. By engaging with these reflections, we honor not just a television show but the interconnectedness of our lives with the stories we hold dear. Let this be an invitation to delve into the reservoir of your sentiments, evoked by this timeless series. Thank you for accompanying me on this nostalgic excursion, sharing in the beauty of reminiscence and the power of shared memories. Your presence enriches this experience. Gratefully, 